Leora, welcome to the Property Renovation Podcast. I am really excited about interviewing you today. Um, and why don't we just kick off with, tell us your background. How did you get to where you are today? Yes, hi, thanks for having me. That's all right. I'm very excited myself. Um, well, during my childhood, we would always gather in the, in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. That was the place where everything happened. My, my father was so in love with food and with cooking, and uh, he was so excited about that. He would always make a mess in the kitchen. But uh, he always said, that's passion, yeah. that's passion. And, um, you know, he was really obsessed with the taste and the texture and the aromas. And above all, he always said that food brings people together. It may, it sparks emotions, it makes you fall in love. Yeah. It takes you back to your childhood or it takes you to faraway places. So eating is like cooking and eating is like making love. That's what he always said. So that really, really inspired me. And um, yeah, with that philosophy entrenched within me, um, I went traveling around the world and I was very much, I was always a big foodie and always interested in um, eating well and eating with people and cooking for people. But with time, um, I really wanted to know more about the ingredients, like about health benefits. So when I landed in LA, my professional career took a real turn mm -hmm. and uh, I was in plant-based heaven and I loved everything about it. The mindfulness, the rituals, um, you know, I was very curious, so I learned more about that, and now I am a consultant and coach for well-being, specializing in plant-based cuisine. I'm a speaker and author, cookbook author, and uh, yeah, I love what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm a certified nutrition expert, so I try to combine the aesthetics and the passion and the, the joy of eating and cooking with, you know, the knowledge um, of uh, what are we putting into our body? It's truly your passion. I can yeah. I can already you know see it. I can see it the way that you talk as well. Like yeah, you truly just care. Absolutely, yeah, love food. Um, I always think that uh, you mentioned about LA. I've never been, but I from what I see on TV, I you're can imagine. You're missing out. Yeah. <laughs> when but it I, comes to food, you're missing out. <laughs> I, yeah, this is what I, this is my point. I think it's a place where it has so much variety for yeah. food, and you can eat healthy easily that's true. without difficulty and that's i just think true. that sometimes um in other areas of the world that's a little bit more challenging and mm -hmm. a little bit more difficult so totally yeah but you know what in the end it's not about how perfectly well you eat or it's about making the right choices every day and about tiny steps okay. if you're mindful about certain things you know whatever it is i mean we all have a different lifestyle yeah. we are all have different bodies you know so um if you if you really take the time to get to know yourself and see what feels good for you and your family and if you make um eating well or if feeding your family with nourishing and nurturing food if that's your priority then you're good to go yeah. So the kitchen is one of the most important places in anyone's home. Um, why is it, do you think, and why is it important to cook from home? Well, other than knowing exactly what ingredients you actually use for your meals mm. and putting love into it while you cook, um, the best thing we create in the kitchen are moments. That's pretty true. Pretty That's true. the best um, emotions and love are the best ingredients basically yeah. and all that happens in the kitchen so as i already said the aromas and the textures and the colors you know and the scents all that spark our emotions and um i don't know the stories we're telling the laughter all of that is happening in the kitchen and i always believe that cooking together and eating together is priceless i do remember when my mom used to cook and I used to be upstairs after coming home from yeah. school and I used to think, what's that smell? You know, and I, I want to come down and watch her yeah. cook and be part of it and run around and start nibbling it mm -hmm. while she's still cooking and get a slap on the hand for doing that. <laughs> you did. But it, it is. It's, a, it's, a, it's, um, it's definitely um, a place where it invites, it should invite 
all of the members of the family. Yeah, totally. It's a common area. Yeah. In the end, you have your room, kids, you know, there's the kids' room. Yeah. But this is the place where we all know, we all come together because we're hungry. Mm. You know, yeah. so we always meet at one point, we always meet in the kitchen and everyone is hungry. And this is where it starts. We have the music on, we dance, we cook. And I always remember, you know, there's certain scents. I always remember what my grandmother cooked for me when I was a child. Yeah, Brings me back to my roots and it's very, it's super emotional. I'm not sure whether my grandmother used to cook totally healthily, but it, it no. was, I always remember the Sunday lunches. It's a typical British thing to do. <laughs> um, and most of it's healthy because you've got your vegetables, yeah. but uh, the rest of it might not be. But you know what? You know what's even more healthy than healthy food? Is the love. Yeah. And is being together and is laughing together and is sharing stories. That's quite And calm, creating mo moments. Yeah. Because is this, this is what you take with you your entire life. And you know, stressing about food won't help your health either. Mm -hmm. So it's about, for me, of course, I'm all into health food and choosing the right ingredients, but um, being together with my family and sitting there in our PJs in the morning and eating for hours, it's just, uh, it, moves, it moves me to tears. I'm very emotional about this, <laughs> as you can tell. Yeah, 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 that's good though. That's good. So, with the kitchen being one of the most common um, projects that someone takes on, and it being um, the most important, one of the most important places in the in the house, if someone is buying a new kitchen, what considerations do you, you feel they need to be making? Well, personally, I'm always about form, in a sense of aesthetics, mm -hmm. function. It needs to be functional and uh, sustainability. So look for materials and color, colors that spark your emotions, that inspire you, that makes you want to sit in that place forever, you know? Yeah, it needs to be inviting. Something inviting and cozy and warm and uh, calming as well, you know? So I think that that's always good. Okay. And um, make your kitchen a functional space. That means, uh, you know, you need a smart layout. You want to be able to cook, and while you cook, it's always nice, nice to interact and talk with friends or family who are yeah. there. So I like it to be an interactive space kind of thing. I get the feeling that people are moving more and more towards open space. Mm. So dividing, where, where you used to have a divide between any living space and the kitchen. Yeah. A lot of people are becoming more open plan, mm -hmm. so they're taking down that barrier. I'm a huge fan of that. Yeah. I have yeah. that myself. Why moment. do you think that is important, that bit? I think it's nice, you know, because um, in the end, it's a common area and mm. some people want to lounge on the couch while you cook and you can still have the conversation yeah. and you're not being separated from your crowd, you know, from your family or friends if you're hosting a dinner. Yeah. They can actually be around you, chill. Yeah. while you cook so i think that's i think it's beautiful i think it becomes no more like a chore just mm -hmm. to be cooking because there would be one person cooking exactly. and the rest of the family are divided and being in the living area it's so a happening it's, it's, a happening. it's a happening and yeah. everybody wants to be part of it you know like when i cook and i have friends over for example everybody wants to help can i cut something can i bring you something oh can i watch yeah and I love it. I and love it. That's it. Then we, we talk about things. We talk about food, the ingredients, about what happened last night, what <laughs> what's happening tomorrow. You know, I love that. Bit of gossip as well. Bit of, yeah, in a good sense. Good. <laughs> and also, you know, um, let's talk about sustainability because that's also dear to my heart. Okay. And um, I always think when you're building a kitchen, think timeless. Like, what does your family need now? And what do you need maybe within five years' time or in the future? Yeah. Let's talk about sustainability because that's very dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. And it's a huge subject. People are actually trying to be more sustainable in their choices. So I always think if you're building a new kitchen, think timeless. Think about your future also. Like what, um, what do you need now? And maybe, or what does your family need? And what do you need maybe within five years' time? So you don't need to rebuild the whole thing again. Yeah. And also, um, you know, be mindful about materials you use. Um, like, choose eco-friendly materials. Be mindful about, think about natural lighting and natural paint and incorporate tools that support, support, your, support sustainability, basically.
So let's talk about um, homes in any city. Um, I think more and more people are edging more towards the choosing the easy option of takeaways. Um, but why do you think that is? Well, life can be quite stressful these days, you know, with managing work and family and uh, being stressed, meeting deadlines. So people opt for the easy and quick food solution, yeah. basically. Um, but in the end, understanding that time and health are the most precious things we have, um, I've learned basically to set my priorities, you know, yeah. to choose the right things for me because I need to, I need to be, be healthy, be healthy and uh, to work, to be a mom, to... Does that make sense? Yeah, of course it does. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. In the end, it all comes down to setting priorities, basically. And I believe a nourishing and bespoke diet um, and a holistic lifestyle is just very beneficial to us. So I adjust to my to I adjust to my priorities. I think coming from London myself, I've seen that it's a more and more fast-paced city. It's true, um, and it's kind of contradicting in a way because people are still they are eating healthily, but. It's because there are more healthy choices when they go to the supermarket. So you've got pretty much a, a ready meal that is healthy, but it's discouraging the, the chance of, of actually cooking from home. Mm. So people are just buying this on their way home and eating it. And then they'll go and sit down and watch TV. With, and, and you lose that moment. You lose the chance of cooking from home. And I think it's just about working longer hours. Sure. Um, and you, you just maybe have an hour and a half if you're lucky. To, to rest as well. So it's true, it's quite sad, but you know, then it's then again it's good to find the balance. So maybe if you make it a ritual that you have, you have like maybe one or two nights in the during the week mm. where you actually do cook from home. It's so it's so much fun. To me basically being in my kitchen and cooking is like meditating. I think half of cooking from home is preparation. Yeah. So you have to cut vegetables and everything else. Mm -hmm. But do you think just to save time, you, you could have that done on the weekend, prep them totally. and put them in Meal the kitchen? Meal prep. Yeah. I do that all the time. I'm, I have two little boys mm -hmm. at home and I work. And, but I, you know, feeding my family with nourishing uh, food is just my, is my priority. So I meal prep for the week. Definitely. I guess you know exactly what's in the food at the same time. I know what's in the food and I know how much love and passion I put into the food. Yeah. And I truly believe you can taste the love, a hundred percent. So that's why I'm always, I'm. I don't enjoy going out for dinners that much. Yeah. I don't enjoy going to restaurants. I don't know. I just I love to cook myself, and I and I love to cook for other people because I love the sound, like the yummy sound. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's really. It's the satisfaction. It me, it, yeah, it's, yeah, it makes it it fulfills me with so much pleasure and joy, and also it brings back the values. I've been brought up with, you know, the family values, the being together, sitting together, being close, yeah. being intimate in a way with food. I love that. And I want my children to grow up like that as well, with these values. It always starts from home, so I'm sure yeah. that's going to happen. And also, you know what, teaching my children to take care of themselves and to making the right choices, mm -hmm. um, I can only do that when I actually... Um, cook with them together yeah. it's like quality time it's our play date exactly it's, it's like our a game. play date it's yeah. like a game yeah. and they know, they know exactly oh the carrot where does it grow the name the colors I mean they're very small kids so we're learning the colors through broccoli and avocado and lemons and limes so it's but, wonderful and I, they love they love baking and cooking and throwing things into the high speed blender to make a smoothie <laughs> so we spend we're in the kitchen all day long So can you tell me, what's the one that must have in your kitchen? A pantry. Okay. Period. Period. <laughs> no, no. A pantry is super important. I just like it to be organized and clean and labeled. And also, um, I'm trying to be mindful about plastics, so I use glass jars. And uh, it keeps the ingredients longer fresh. You know, the shelf life is longer and they're more aromatic. And I just like, I like to open the pantry and I see all these glass jars beautifully, you know, arranged. But cooking to me is also a very sensual and aesthetic um, art. Do you it's label them as well? Of course, so hand, handwritten, That's good. with a date. 
Oh my I God. think this is yeah, <laughs> your viewers this... might think, oh my gosh, she's crazy. How much time does she have on her hand? <laughs> but no, let me tell you, it takes a second. But I like that. I mean, you buy everything in plastic mm. all the time, you know. So at home, I like to I like to see what I bought, and I like to touch the food, and I just like it neat and clean and organized, and uh, yeah. It's I fun. mean, we still need to get that because even in my kitchen, in the fridge, one thing that really upsets me is that you can't find anything. So you end up buying food that goes off at the back of the fridge. Exactly, and then you time. buy it again. And then you buy it again. Or you go out thinking that you can't see what is in there and you, you, yeah, you repeat to buy. Totally, I did the same thing, but yeah. now I've changed and it has become a hobby of mine mm. to get glass jars and label them. And, and you know, also when I see the ingredients, it inspires me. It inspires me to try something new, to cook something. Yeah. I open the pantry, my, my kids are saying, oh, lentils. I'm like, okay, they're black. We have black lentils. Let's do something with black and really? colors. And so I think it's fun. And sometimes um, we even uh, use them for, for crafts and, you know, yeah, arts and crafts. Like pastels and pastels. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's, it's fun. Did your mom have a, did you have a pantry when you were a child? I don't remember. I, I think that we did have something like that underneath the stairs, actually. <laughs> really? Yeah. And no one, no one ever looked inside? No, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm still of the, I, I still remember opening the cupboards uh, for my cereal and just mm -hmm. finding that there was tons of stuff that was out of date. And they oh, used I to see. really, um, yeah. you, ju you just used to chuck away so much. But I think it's just about organization. And yeah. if you can, if you have the space in your kitchen to organize, Definitely. then the whole, yeah. It, but you know what? Also, it, it, it gives you space. If you have boxes and packages everywhere, hmm. it's not, you lose space. Yeah. But if you have jars that actually fit exactly. And stack into, up. And, yeah. Well. Yeah. You, it saves you so much space. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a huge fan. This is my thing now. Good. <laughs>
So if people renovating their home and buying a kitchen, mm. what do you think are the main appliances you need? Mm, I would always go for a high-speed blender, mm -hmm. good quality one, um, a dehydrator, a slow juicer, a zero-degree fridge, which uh, helps to keep the, the vegetables and the, the fruits fresh for longer, okay. and definitely a good knife. And you're all good. You're good to go. Good. Okay. Yeah. Leora, thank you very much for coming on. Thank you so much. I'm it sure was a blast. Are, yeah, all of our listeners are going to find this very helpful, I'm sure. I hope so. And if they have any questions about nutrition or want to know Where more. Where can they find you? Uh, yeah, uh, leorabels.com. Okay. And uh, yeah, they can feel free to drop me a line, ask a question. And what is that book? What's the, what's the name of your book? The Mix. The Mix. The Mix. Okay. And yeah. where can you get that? Um, via Amazon or okay. on my site. Brilliant. So yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you so much, James. No problem. <laughs>